Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a quick review slash first impression of this L'Oreal Le Color Gloss One Step Toning Gloss. So as you may have guessed, I did already wash my hair, I applied this, and we are gonna find out together if it actually works. So just briefly, what this is supposed to do is it says it's supposed to boost, shine, enhance color, and deeply condition. There's no mixing and no damage. And depending on what you want to do with your hair depends on which particular toning color you're going to choose. Now, as most of you know, I have highlights and I like to keep those nice and cool and bright. So I chose Cool Blonde and this is supposed to help kind of tone down any brassiness in those highlights. Now, you don't have to have color treated hair to use this. It does say it also works on naturally colored hair, but if you use it on natural colored hair, you're probably gonna need to leave it on a little bit longer. So inside this box is a tube, and as I expected, this particular color shade is kind of like the color of my top. <laughs> it is a very bright violet shade. And depending on the length of your hair, depends on how many uses you're gonna get. On the box, it says you're gonna get three uses. Um, I already used this and I only used probably about this much. So I think one tube of this is gonna last me five or more uses at minimum. So you're getting four ounces of product. So I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here, especially if it allows us not to have to use a purple shampoo so often. Normally I am rotating in a purple shampoo maybe two to three times a week. So we'll see if this cuts down on the need for that. And then finally, just a couple of things that it says about the actual formulation. It says it's coconut oil infused, deep conditioning base, and it's free of ammonia, parabens, phthalates, sulfates, mineral oils. It's vegan, color, and keratin safe for all hair types and textures. So I followed the instructions on the box and what I did is after shampooing, I applied this and I left it on probably closer to 10 minutes. It says five to 10 minutes for color treated or highlighted hair and then 15 minutes for natural color hair. I rinsed it out really well. So now let's go ahead and take my hair out of the towel and let's see what kind of toning we got. I did take a picture of my hair yesterday before doing this. So we're gonna be able to compare kind of tone of highlights. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. And you may have not already seen a hair tutorial from me before. So this is going to be not as instructive on the hair styling portion, but I will go through most of my normal routine to style my hair and my normal products. Starting off with the Stylist Sheer Remedy. This is a typical product that I put in my hair. It does add a little bit of shine, but I don't feel like this is going to kind of sway how this product looks on the hair. And, and, and because I had used this yesterday when I styled my hair, I wanted to kind of be fair, use all of the same products so we can really see if there is a shine difference. Also, if you're new here, you may not be familiar with kind of my coloring. And in a moment, I will take the camera out to my beauty room because the lighting in this bathroom doesn't always show the blonde as much as it is there. But I do have this streak of uh, natural, natural highlights, we shall say, natural gray highlights. So um, kind of getting a little bit of a view of that right now. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of the Catwalk Root Boost. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this through the top. My hair is quite long. I am only a few days away from a cut. So I feel like when that happens, I need a little extra help with volume. And then this final product is actually relatively new. I'm gonna be talking more about it in an upcoming video, but for now, this is the Kenra Nitro Memory Cream. And I am just using the tiniest 
amount of this. And I'm going to put this kind of in the ends and just kind of roughly put this through my hair. This adds body and does some other great things too. So stay tuned for a future video coming about that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. And then that is going to be when we actually really see how much color toning we got from this treatment. Nelly, I can already tell a difference. And like I said in a moment, I'm going to take you out to better lighting, but I just want to give you a glimpse so far. Wow. Yes, I can definitely see a big difference, especially in the shine factor. I will be honest, when I took my hair out of the towel and I ran my fingers through it, it did not feel super soft and conditioned like it typically does after I've done a deep conditioning mask. But now that it is dry, oh my goodness, it really feels very, very well conditioned and hydrated. If hair can feel hydrated, <laughs> my hair does feel that way. And like I said, the shine factor, oh my goodness, it is like miraculous, but I don't feel like it's weighed down at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just use my flat iron in a couple of sections here. I always like to take it through the front. And like I said, my, my hair is quite long here. So usually on the sides is where I start getting some little bit of curls there as it gets longer. And then kind of through the top here, you can tell it is really, really getting long. Time for a trim. <laughs> All right, let's see. And I think that is pretty good. Okay, I have this like crazy little hair right section of hair not behaving well. <laughs> the crown area of the hair, if you have cowlicks, you understand. Now I'm going to go in with the Enjoy Dry Wax and it was important I did want to let you see the shine before because this is kind of a more mattifying product. But again, this is my typical styling product and what I used in my hair yesterday. So I don't want to you know, sway the end results and make it look shinier than it is if it's really not shinier, but I can already tell it's gonna be a lot shinier. All right, so I'm gonna work just a little bit of this through my hair here. And I do have lots of other tutorials and in-depth help using this product. So if you are new to 
a pixie and new to enjoy dry wax. I will leave links down in the description box for those other videos. You can check those out. All right, I finished working that through the hair and now I'm gonna finish with some Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. All right, so I brought my camera back to my beauty room where we have a lot better light and it's about the same time of day as yesterday when I took some before pictures. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at my hair today before I show you yesterday's pictures. And just initially, I mean, my first impression and from what I am seeing, I feel like that totally worked. I think this absolutely cooled down my highlights. Like I was almost concerned that it did too much work, that it cooled them off too much. But once it, I got it styled, I actually really like it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop up on the screen some before and after shots side by side so you can judge for yourself and see if what I think I'm seeing is really true. So we've got kind of the front section is obviously where I have more of my highlights and where it will be more apparent if this actually really did work. I didn't feel like my hair was overly brassy yesterday, but it definitely had yellower tones. I had not used any purple shampoo for probably the last week and a half or so because I wanted to make sure that it was all this glossing treatment if we saw any cooling action. So overall, my first impression of this is I think it totally works. And as I mentioned earlier, I think you're getting a lot of product and therefore a lot of uses, especially on short hair. So I think this is a very cost effective way to get that toning and glossing. And I have done a lot of reading off and on with various products mentioning how good it is for your color treated hair to do some kind of glossing treatment periodically because it does really help recondition the hair and just kind of help seal in and protect that color. So overall, my take on it, I think this absolutely works. And as far as how long it wears, it does say it can last up to 10 days depending on how often you wash your hair. So I typically wash my hair six to seven days a week, so almost every day. So I'm anticipating within a week, probably most of the toning will be gone. Now it does say that if you want even greater toning action, so if this one toning treatment wasn't quite enough for you, you can do it again in seven days and that will help give you even greater results. It also says if it's too much color or toning for you, you can get it out of your hair by using a clarifying shampoo. So I feel like this is a pretty user-friendly product because there's no mixing. It basically goes on your hair like a hair mask. I feel like this is very user-friendly and because you've got some ways to tweak it according to kind of what you prefer, I would say that even if you're a beginner, that this is a great option if you want some toning. Now, again, this does come in multiple color options. So if you don't have blonde highlights like I do, you've got other tones in your hair, check out the other tones. I will, as always, leave this product and the others that I used in today's video linked in the description box below. Hit that little tiny arrow over here or the words show more and that will give you the whole list and links to everything I talked about and used today. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.